VPN authentication on the ASA using Radius. This micro nugget is going to walk through the two specific steps needed to tell the ASA that you want to start authenticating VPN users using a centralized AAA server. Let's jump in. When authenticating users, so we have Bob out here on the internet, and he's building a VPN connection to this VPN gateway, ASA1. There's two different places, at least, that we can store the username and password. We can store it locally, which means on the ASA itself, or we could put it on a centralized server. By having a centralized server, such as Cisco's ACS server or some other AAA server, we can create Bob's user account here, and here's how it works. When the Bob connects to the ASA and says, hey, it's Bob, here's my password, the ASA can ask the AAA server and say, dear Mr. AAA server, the username is Bob, here's the password, is it correct? We can get the answer back from the AAA server, and then we can authenticate Bob and let him go in. The reason that that's so efficient is because it's scalable. Maybe we have two more ASAs and they're all acting as VPN gateways. Instead of having to keep Bob's username here and here and here, all three of these guys can talk to one AAA server where the usernames and passwords are centrally managed. So how do we implement this in our network? Well, we start off with a AAA server. I happen to have Cisco's ACS server up and running. What we need to do is we need to tell the ASA that there is a AAA server and secondly, we need to tell the ASA that we'd like it to use the AAA server for authenticating VPN connections as they come in. On the ASA, our first step is to tell this ASA that there's a AAA server that's willing to talk to it and be a centralized authentication server. To do that, we go to configuration, device management. This is one of the locations where it is. And under users in AAA, we go to AAA server groups. And you simply click on add. And we'll call this one our rad group. And in this RAD group, we'll say, is it Radius or is it TACX? Is it NT Domain? Is it an LDAP server? We're going to say it's simply a Radius server because that's what we're using between it and the ASA. And we'll also take all the defaults. Now, what's the problem with this brand new group? The problem is it's a group of zero. There are no servers in it. So we're going to highlight this RAD group. And down here, we're going to click on Add. When we click on Add, we're going to specify where that AAA server is. And we're also going to specify the secret used to encrypt the passwords as we send them between us, the ASA, and the AAA server. With that in place, the last thing to do after we apply this would be to test it just to make sure it works. On that AAA server, I do have one username there that I know, and that is AAA-user. It was created on the AAA server, and the password was something super top secret. And this says that that test is successful. Now what we've done is we've identified to the ASA where the AAA server is. We've also verified that the authentication process is working between the ASA and that AAA server. The next step would be to use a connection profile inside of our VPNs and tell it to use it. Just while we're here though, let's also take a look and make sure that the AAA-user doesn't exist on the local database. It's not here at all. It's only on the AAA server. So to configure the connection profile, we're going to go to Remote Access VPN. And under our network client access, we're going to go to a connection profile. And let's go ahead and grab this one right here, the admin con profile. And we're going to modify the connection profile to tell it, hey, listen, when people authenticate coming in on this connection profile, don't use the local AAA, which is the local database, the running config on the ASA. Instead, use this awesome RAD group. We'll click OK, click Apply. We'll click on Send, and let's test it. Back at our client, let's verify that our AnyConnect client is running, which it is right here. And let's go ahead and connect. I'm connecting to the outside address of that ASA. And I want to go in as this connection profile called AdminCon Profile. That's when we modified. And we're going to go in as AAA-user. And the password for that is the password configured on that AAA server. And if it works, that would be fantastic. And there it is. So here we have the details for our policy. We've got a, an IP address assigned to us of 10.0.0.234. This IP address is the global address of the outside interface of our ASA. And here are the protocols that we're using. And to see the details of a split tunneling policy, if there is one, we could look right here as well. In this nugget, we took a look at using a centralized AAA server. In this case, it was an ACS server. And we communicated with that AAA server using Radius. Our steps were twofold. Number one, we had to tell the ASA how to reach the AAA server. And once we did that, we then told the ASA, go ahead and for a given connection profile for your VPN users, authenticate using that AAA server group to authenticate those users. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.